Hello, this is Emily Parks, Success Strategist with Organize for Success, here to help you use Evernote to organize for success. Today, we will be discussing how you can use Evernote as a filing cabinet. With the search capabilities in your Evernote account, it is so much easier to find anything filed as a note in an Evernote notebook than it is to find items filed in your office's file drawers or three ring binders on your office's shelves. Instead of depending on whatever you've labeled the file or binder in which your item is hiding, or should I say stored, you can type whatever term you remember from the item in question in the search box of your Evernote account and it will find that word anywhere in a note's title, a note's body, any associated URLs from which a note's content was pulled, or what tags you've assigned to that note in your database. To simplify things, searching can be done in all notes to search an entire database or you can click on a specific notebook to search only that notebook's contents. Plus, options within the Evernote trunk make it easy to scan in all your existing papers so you aren't limited to what can be added electronically. Applications for this would be articles related to your profession from e-newsletters, websites, or blogs, information gathered via social media for later use, potential topics for upcoming blogs that you will be writing, or information that you found when researching a particular issue, topic, planning an upcoming event, or working on a joint application with other individuals. So, to practice this particular skill of using Evernote as a filing cabinet, we would want to create a notebook in order to keep related notes to whatever term we would use. So, for example, if you are someone that enjoys baking, cooking, making things in the kitchen, you oftentimes would have multiple different recipes that you're accessing at any point in time. Your Evernote account makes a great way for you to file those, those particular recipes together whether you pull them in from your email, you find them on the web, you type them into a particular note, and then you can access them on all your different devices. So you may be uploading them on your Mac, but you may be using them on your iPad in the kitchen. So let's create a new notebook for recipes. If you mouse over the word All Notebooks and right click on it, which would be Control and click on your mouse, you get the option for New Notebook. When you click on New Notebook, we would want to rename the notebook name to Recipes. Make sure that it's a synchronized notebook and then click to create that notebook. As you'll notice in this far left hand column, you see Recipes has appeared. To add notes to this empty notebook, you would simply click on the word Recipes then go up to New Note and type in whatever recipe you will be adding. So say we're doing Grandma's Chili. You can do a new note, title it as Grandma's Chili, and then type in the particular contents for Grandma's Chili within the body of the note. To save this to your account, you would simply click Sync up at the top of your page. However, you may not have all the recipes you want to add in your mind or on pieces of paper in your home, so the alternative would be to clip them from the internet. So if we minimize our Evernote account and pull up our web browser, we can go directly to Real Simple's Enhanced Recipe Search. Say that we wanted to search for something using the chicken that is in the refrigerator. So if we type in chicken and hit search, we may want to try this slow cooker creamy chicken with biscuits. If you click on that, it pulls the recipe up on your screen. Now, if I were clipping this from a regular website where you may have ads embedded within the article, 
I may want to click on the print version of it in order to pull it directly over to our Evernote account. However, this one looks like it doesn't have much extraneous items included in it, so I can just pull it directly from here. First step is to make sure I can see on the screen exactly what details I want to pull over to Evernote, which right now it looks like this includes all the important aspects for creating this particular recipe. So then in the top header of your Mac home screen, you'll see this little elephant head. If you click on the elephant head and go down to clip rectangle or window to Evernote, then you get these little lines that you can line up with the content you are looking to clip, click down on your mouse and hold down while you are highlighting all of the content. Then as soon as you release, it's going to automatically upload that content into a new note in the default notebook of your account. Because we did not check the default box when creating the recipes account, we'll need to move it into recipes. There's two ways of doing that. Once the note is saved, you can always drag it from one notebook and drop it into another notebook, or as you're creating the note, you'll notice it says Organized for Successes Default right beside these little arrows. If I click on the arrow, it gives me a list of all notebooks and I can select recipes from there. The title defaults to screenshot since we clipped it from the internet, but as soon as I start typing, it will override whatever the default title was. Once I've titled it what I'd like to title it, I can simply hit the red X to save it into my recipes folder. And then once I've minimized my web browser, I can go back into my Evernote account and see, ta-da, there is our slow cooker creamy chicken with biscuits recipe. Isn't it fabulous to be able to save it right here on your Mac desktop and have it available on your iPad when you're in the kitchen cooking? How simpler could this be? But even better than that are the search capabilities involved. So as long as I've clicked right here on recipes, so I know I'm searching within that notebook, or I go to all notebooks and highlight that, when I go into the search field and type in chicken, it's going to find my recipe that involves chicken. However, if I delete chicken out of the search field and type chili, it will find grandma's chili recipe. So you've got all sorts of options with your search capabilities for finding the exact recipe you are seeking for that perfect meal for your friends or family. Again, this is Emily Parks, success strategist with Organize for Success, helping you utilize Evernote as a tool to organize for success. I can be reached by the contact information on your screen and stay tuned for additional videos about how you can succeed with using Evernote in your day-to-day -day life. Have a great day!